All right, guys, we're doing something different today. We're headed to a thrift store. Stacy's got the GoPro on, so we're gonna see what happens today. Hopefully, we can find something really good. So we're doing something a little bit different than our normal uh, garage sales. How do you feel? I'm nervous. You're nervous. I've never worn the camera before. Well, <laughs> we're trying something new, so let's get in there and let's see what we can find. All right, let's go. Hey! Stacy's looking at this Eagle Eye sweater. It's like an ugly Christmas sweater. Um, they want $50 for this one. This one is called Home Sweet Home, but there are ones that are worth some really good money. One of the more expensive ones is called the Pillsbury Best Home Cooking. So if you guys do see that one in the Eagle's Eye ugly Christmas sweater, definitely pick it up. $49.99. Why is that so much? Uh, Eagle's Eye? Why is everything I like so expensive? I want to find a, um, a spirit jersey today. This looks cool. Bench, urban wear. Hmm. Sometimes uh, jackets or sweaters with a lot of the, the brands on things, that cost extra. So it makes me feel like I want to look it up. The logo. Bench, urban wear. Mmm, comps don't look great, so we're gonna leave that. This looks cool. Rising time. $20. Hmm. No solds. Comps aren't great on this either, so we're gonna leave it. What else is? Not vintage. Let's just print it on there. I like the colors on that pastel. All these. Some cabby things can be good, but it has to be unique. Hmm. Yeah, face. How much is this? Twenty-four ninety-nine. Gymshark can be good to pick up, but there's some stains on this one. 
So I'm over here with my phone. I'm going through some of the games. I find some Lego stuff, but stuff was a little expensive, like $25. It wasn't brand new. Um, so I'm just kind of looking around. If you guys do see anything that might have some value or maybe something that I missed, uh, please let me know in a comment down below. As I'm looking through these games, I do notice the Cranium game, and some Cranium games can go for some good money. There's one Cranium game, it's called like Magical Treasure. Um, that one could go for some good money, but just the regular version, the regular Cranium versions, even like the Turbo Edition, they just really don't go for that much money. So I'm just scanning the rest of the games. I don't really see anything else that I'm interested in, but they had a lot of games for a thrift store. like a Costco brand. This is cute. LL Bean. Has a Patagonia vibe. Hmm. Nice pattern. Looks like a vintage tag. Can't remember what color you said was on sale, but it could be nice. <laughs> things can be good. I like the embroidered flowers on them. That's cute. Could be shrunk though. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. I'll think about it. soft surroundings. Mm, the basic North Face stuff I just leave. I don't look it up. <sighs> that looks cool. That's a yellow. Hmm. Interesting. If this was made... This is just cotton. If it was better in materials, I could pick that up. I'm over here showing you guys some of the electronics section. Um, so they had some video game stuff that had a controller. Ten dollars though was kind of a lot of money for a Sega Genesis controller. They did have a PS2. It's eighty dollars. So that's about what they go for. But they don't have the power cord or like the AC adapter. So I mean, just the console by itself, it might even go for a little bit less than that. I don't know if maybe they had the controllers or the power adapter in the back. I also did see this Disney DVD player. They wanted thirty-five dollars, and it goes for about twenty to forty dollars depending. It did not have the remote control, so had to pass on that. And they also had a Nintendo Wii as well, but they wanted uh, $45 for that. And like I said, I don't even know if it has the power cord or any controllers, but that's a little bit high for me to get into. Oh, this is cool. I like how it has the Tommy Hilfiger on the brand, on the bottom here, on the band. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy Sport. $9.99. Possibly. Anthropology. This is the first time I've seen where it says by Anthropology. Saturday, Sunday. $14.99. I'll have to check this one. Okay. 
just looking. Fire and cool. Yeah, I found a few things I like. On a plush. This place had a ton of plush. So I'm looking through all of these. If you guys do see any plush that maybe I missed, please let me know. But there is just so much plush to go through. It looks like the newer Disney with the long tags. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Get some Rudolph here. This is like a vintage Billy Pulitzer tag. That's cool. So I find the video game section, I'm gonna take a look through all of the video games that they have. They have quite a few, and the prices are pretty good. Like some are $2, some are $5. So every time that I see like video games that are just laid out in the open, I'm always like in my mind, I'm like, man, I really hope that the games are actually in here. I find Mario Kart DS, so I'm pumped. It's $12.99, it's, it's a little bit too much for me to get into. That game's probably worth like $15, $20. This is empty. A lot of these games are empty. Over here, like Super Monkey Ball. Empty. I don't know why, but we fit. Empty. A lot of these. Montana. I think I'll get this one for $29.99, but this guy right here, the bald head, he goes for about $30. Bucks. And then it's hard to see what else is in here. It doesn't look like great stuff, but this crystal thing right here, this creation crystal, goes for about $10 to $15. So, I mean, the one figure would pay for that bag, but I don't know if there's enough in there to make it to at least double up. I don't even know if I could even double. So I don't know, I gotta think about it. Stacy didn't want to wear the GoPro anymore, so I have the GoPro now and I'm gonna show you everything else that she found. What Stacy found? Show me what she got, oh my god, look at this. Never found this brand before. Wow. This is a Super 500, but it's price is but it's half off. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
half off on red tax today. It's one ninety nine. So you think you want to get that? I don't know. Holy smokes, sure seriously. Well, cool Let me see. Oh yeah, that's cool. Isn't it like uh, banks? Yeah. Very banks? Like Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I found some other stuff. Here's a quick look at some of the jackets we're gonna pick up. There's a rosin gold jacket, a Betsy Johnson red jacket, and this black jacket called DSCP. Let's go like a little puffle on Sanrio. So what do you think, it's a Hello Kitty? I don't know. Same thing, looks well, pretty cool. Three bucks, we'll grab them. All right, guys, so today was pretty good at the thrift store. It was. That was our first time going to that thrift store, and first time for you wearing the GoPro. How, <laughs> how'd you feel about it? I didn't like it. You didn't like it? I felt uncomfortable. I, I felt like, and I'm sure nobody even noticed or was paying attention to us, but I felt like everybody was staring right. at me, and they were looking right at the camera. Yes. I just felt weird. I know, I get it. I totally get it, because that's how I felt in the beginning with doing garage sales. But you just you just wear it, and then you just get used to it, and you're just like, you're just like whatever. I know. But it is weird kind of like, you know, thinking about having, you know, trying to tape something or get yeah. the angles and everything and stuff Yeah, like sorry that. about that. The angle was not great. So I clipped the GoPro to my purse strap and it got a little wonky. Got a little so wonky. It was a, a little crooked. Yeah, it was a little crooked. That's all right. It's first time. It's first time. I know, but I just, I, I don't know. I just felt uncomfortable. But I did like filming with my phone better. That felt a little less obvious. Yeah. So next time I'm going to use a phone. Gotcha. Instead of the GoPro. You can keep the GoPro. Sounds good. <laughs> all right, well, tell me about a couple of things that you found at that thrift store. Okay, so I took the GoPro off halfway through because I was feeling uncomfortable and I, I gave it back to you when yeah. you were filming some stuff. Mm -hmm. So you didn't see the jackets that I picked up off the off the rack. I went through that first rack of women's sweaters and then I moved over to the jackets after that. And I found some good jackets. Yeah. So the first one I found was a Betsy uh, Johnson. I almost said Betsy Ross. <laughs> Betsy <laughs> Johnson jacket. I don't always pick up Betsy Johnson. It has to look unique and something yeah. special about it. Um, but this one was really pretty. Let me show you. I should probably take off the hangers so I can show you the, the brand yep. or the tag. It's this really pretty red, sorry to hit you in the face, no, you're good. red wool jacket. And on the inside and it had like a nice... Yeah, that's what caught my attention. I love the lining with the different color of roses and then these pockets. They're circle pockets. Isn't that's, that cool? That is cool. And it had the pretty little flower zipper, just a lot of nice little accents, something that I thought made it look special. Yeah. Um. So I looked this up and there was a comp for $50. So. I thought it was worth it. I think this was like 12 or 13, so okay. it was pushing it a little bit, but yeah. I think it'll sell when we're in the right season, so I thought it was a good pickup. Yeah, awesome. Yes, and then we also found um, that other, that raw single, probably saying it wrong, but raw single uh, yeah. ski jacket. It was or like, snow a heavy, jacket. like a heavy jacket. Yeah. yeah, really nice jacket, great condition. I think that one's worth about 50 or $60. Okay. And then I found the two military jackets, the green ones that you saw in the video. Well, they're not really jackets. They're like fleece pullovers. Yeah. Um, but they were right next to each other. And it was funny because the tag was cut out of one of them. So it was $3.99. And then the other one had the tag. Right. And it was double the price. So it's like, they were the same thing. Yeah. So but that was, was nice. just missing the tag. Yeah. So we got the cheaper one. Right. Because um, they sell for about $30. So. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. They have like Velcro on the front or something. Yeah, I'm guessing some sort of patches go, go on, there. on there. Yeah, because they're military. Gotcha. Um, Those and are then cool. there was we also got the DS. It's called DSCP. That was the brand. Um, that was also a military. That police was the black jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that one sold as soon as we listed it. So that was that was a good pickup. That was awesome. Yeah. So then I came back over to find Stacy, and she had all these clothes in her um in her cart, and then yeah, that really one cool. Like it was like a hocus pocus. It wasn't hocus pocus, oh, yeah. but it looked like. <laughs> what is it? Is it is it Zachary or Thackeray? I don't know. We just watched Hocus Pocus last night. Yeah. And I know they said it in the movie a bunch of times, but I can never yeah. remember. Right. I don't know. Is it Thackeray or Zachary? Not sure. <laughs> but Zachary or Thackeray Banks, that's what it looked like. It looked like that black cat. And tell me about that Ralph Lauren sweater that you found. I was so shocked that I found that at the thrift store. I mean, I was in shock too. I don't really even know what Ralph Lauren country is, but when you told me, I was like, no. Okay, so I'm going through the clothes, and it gets a little repetitive, you know, because it's mostly just like junk, 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 junk. And then I saw <laughs> Ralph Lauren Country on the label. Okay. Heart dropped through my butt. All right. Shocked. Shocked. Never found that before. Never. That's one of the special lines of Ralph Lauren okay. that they make. So yeah. really nice sweater, really uh -huh. beautiful accents and embellishments on it. Right. It had tassels hanging from the bottom. It was just a beautiful sweater. Really, really good condition too. And what other um, Ralph Lauren tags do you look for? So Ralph Lauren does not just make like the basic Ralph Lauren 
label that you've seen everywhere. There are very special pieces out there that there's like a purple label Ralph Lauren, there's a double R and one of the R's is backwards and then forwards and then there's a Ralph Lauren country like all those pieces. Uh -huh. Those are really really good okay. if you find those. Definitely look those up. This was the first time I've ever found a Ralph Lauren country piece and I was really excited because they can be really valuable. And then you looked at the price. Yes. <laughs> so I found the cardigan and I looked it up <clears throat> and I found a comp for four fifty. So I was like, okay. A that's listed great. a listed comp. A li yeah, a listed comp, not sold. Uh, there was none sold at that time. So I looked it up, found found the comp, and then I looked at the jacket again and I checked the price. <laughs> And how much was it? It was listed for a hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah, so two hundred dollars. Yeah. Yes. I was like, but oh. it was half off. It was half off, so that's why I was considering it because I was like, okay, you know, a hundred and four, possibly four fifty. Yeah. Is great. Well, we're like, all right, that could be worth it. But there were no sold comps, so that's why we were like, oh, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of iffy about it. So we're like, uh, do we leave it? Do we take it? Yeah. And we ended up leaving it. So then in the car ride on the way home, you and I are talking about it back and forth. We're like, did we make a mistake? Should we have got it? I just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I hate that feeling. I know. I hate that feeling. But when we got home, we checked Terrapeak and comped it out, and sure enough, how much did it sell for? 150. 150. Yeah, there were a couple of sold yeah, for 150, a, a 175. Sold. So, so. It just, they probably listed at 450 because there's no other ones listed. Probably. So they're trying to see, you know, how yeah. rare is it? Right. What is someone going to offer? And then they're going to take a lower offer. Yeah. So, I mean, we do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as you will see yeah just we'll talk minutes. about it in a second yes yes because if it's the only one you right. know somebody might pay more than what the last one sold for exactly so i'm glad we didn't get it because i think we would have been way overpaying yes at 200 or even a hundred dollars yeah if i it agree, sells for I agree. but if it did go the other way we would have been heading back to that thrift store oh, yeah. yeah right yeah. away yeah i wish you could check terapeak when you're I just know. on your phone you know i'm sure there's gotta be a way to do it i just haven't figured it out yet do you guys know how yeah, if you guys don't know, let us know. <laughs> All right, so the last thing that we found, I was going through the plush one last time because I, I showed you the plush that I went through earlier, and then I took one last look. I didn't see this guy. He's super cute. Never even heard of him before. Pom-pom Purine. Pom-pom Purine. <laughs> he's so cute. Don't even know what that is, but I'm not sure. He's like a little dog. I know, I know he's a dog, but is he from... Is he a Hello Kitty part? Is he a I Pokemon? Don't what I don't is know, he? but his tag says Sanrio. Yeah. His cute little X on his butt. I don't know what that's for, but... He's just so cute. He's adorable. And it was and a great price. Yeah, it was two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Great price. Yeah, great price. And he's a um, puffle up material. I just love this material. Yeah, it's like a nylon or. Yeah, it's nylon. Yeah. Something, um, but just super cute, yeah. adorable. Great condition. And we always look at puffle up material. Plush. Yes. <laughs> we didn't even look him up when we were at the store. We just got it because it was a great price. It's definitely vintage Sanrio, and he's in really good condition. Yeah. No stains, no holes, no anything. Right. And I just, I thought that would be great. Yeah, especially for the price, too. Yeah. For $3, Yes. I'll give it a go. So when we got home, we checked Terapeak, and there was only one sold. One. For $75. Right, plus like 30 shipping, so about 100 bucks all in. Yeah. Yeah. But there's none listed, mm -hmm. and there was only one sold, so that tells me that this is a rare plush. Right. So we listed it for 150 because there's nothing else out there right, right now. So we'll I, we're happens. probably going to take an offer yeah. on it, I would assume. Right. Um, but we've already got a couple watchers on it, and yeah. there's been some interest, so I think I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I think it's a great pickup. Yeah. Well, and he must have just got put now because you already walked down yeah. that plush. Aisle. Yeah. As you guys saw, there was a ton of plush there, so like much. so much plush. Yeah. So I went through and looked at everything, and I didn't see this guy. I feel like he would have stood out. He's yellow. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't have missed him. So maybe they just put him out. So we got really lucky. On finding that. Doesn't his little head, his little hat look like the little top of an acorn or something? Yeah, kind of. Or it looks like a little beret. Like he's like, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I guess he's like, like, like a little beret. painter or something. <laughs> he's so cute. Yeah, super cute. So overall, I think that was a great stop at the thrift store. Yeah. So, you know, it was a new thrift store for us and I think they had a lot of stuff. It was like a really like packed thrift store. They had like a lot of items, a lot of clothes. Yeah. A lot, a lot of clothes. Mm -hmm. But, you know. I think that we'll definitely go back there and check it out again. Um, leave us a comment down below. Do you guys like doing a thrift video with us, you know, versus our regular garage sale videos? Do you guys want to see more videos like this? Let us know in a comment down below. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us as we went to the thrift store today. Stacy, great job on the GoPro. Great job. People have been asking for it. They've been like, when's Stacy going to wear the GoPro? Finally <laughs> happened. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that. But if you like this video, please go to thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and now we're going to show you what everything is worth. Bye, guys. Bye.